Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is now officially Preptober. I am so excited to finally get started. I have my Save the Cat copy right here, which I haven't seen in a while. When I outline, I use my previous outlines as guides. I don't really go back to this anymore. But I figured since it is Preptober and this book has been with me through the hardest of outlining sessions, it's going to join us in this one. I was going to film yesterday for the beginning of Preptober instead of the second, which it is today, but then I got super sick and I just couldn't get out of bed. I'm still pretty congested at the moment, as you can hear. We're feeling better, so I decided to put on the makeup to kind of hide my illness because I look very pale at the moment and I still look pretty pale. So today I decided we'd officially get started with the outlining. So as you can see, my computer is right over here and I'm officially going to start outlining my NaNoWriMo project. So I don't think this is going to be like a weekly vlog for Preptober. Today, the plan, the goal is to just do some outlining. I know I've got a couple of Preptober goals, but today we will just be focusing on the outlining since that is the biggest part of my Preptober goals. I already made a document for this outlining. It is popping up right now and i don't think i've done anything for it but put down like the title page which i like to do for both drafting and outlining projects i think that's about all i did but it does have a document that i will be working on today i don't even know if i will get to using save the cat because save the cat is plot stuff and i do eventually want to get to outlining the plot stuff obviously but at the moment because I have nothing, not even like general details, which I like to do just to get an overview, character info, because though the plot comes to me before characters, I always outline characters first and I don't know why. I'm going to focus on doing some outlining now. Whenever I talk about having like overviews for my projects, I mean, information like that it's just like basic very basic things for me to know the project as a whole and also to make it easier when talking about it hopefully because i've already figured out like you know the genre how long it is if it's part of a series or a standalone i also have estimates which i haven't written down here and this is like how long i think the book will be how long i think it will be to draft and so I use these estimates to like plan out deadlines. I'm not sure if I will actually do an estimate thing for this book since it is just a nano project and I don't really have any plans going into 2022 with this book. But for all I know, I could work on it in the next year. So maybe estimates would be a good thing. And here are the estimates. So now for the next like five minutes, because this part doesn't really take that long, I'm just going to fill out these estimates, get like the book's official details up and running, and then hopefully I can start with characters. I normally do this part of outlining on Google Slides, which I talked about in my weekly writing vlog. However, because I feel like this isn't like super world buildy, like there are paranormal elements in this, but it's not necessarily like I have to build up the world and the majority of projects that do have google slides outlines are like big world building ones i think for this one i am going to try it on google docs just so it's all in one place and maybe i can even print it out for NaNoWriMo like i thought this didn't even take five minutes it was very quick because i knew the majority of information since this has been like an idea in my head for a long time so i knew how to fill it in and I also had a couple notes in my author journal, my writer journal, which I wrote for this project. So I have the working title, the time, the setting, I have all of that. The thing that surprised me was that when I was imagining what POV should be written in, like first or third, I realized that this book might be better written in first person than third person. Meaning that this will be one of my first books that I've written in 
quite a while that will be written in first person but since to me it fits pretty well and I feel like this project would be done well being written in first person it will be written in first person unless I feel like it needs to change then I can just change it before I get to characters I am going to go start making dinner because I'm cooking today for the first time in a while so it is currently like 20 to 3 so I need to go start making dinner to make sure it's ready by like 4 and then I will come back with you all to start character outlining hi everyone so it's still october but it's significantly days later because on saturday i think i mentioned how i was getting over being ill but then on sunday i got ill again so i decided to just take it easy and now it's tuesday right now what i'm doing is just like trying to make deadlines in a way basically with projects i hope to query when i want to query them which you know i don't even know how to query i don't know how querying even works and I'm still trying to figure out exactly what projects I want to try getting traditionally published and what projects I want to get self-published if I check it out before then it won't be a surprise but yeah I'm still very like off about this whole publishing thing I definitely know that each of my projects will get printed as actual books but will I ever get to the point where I want to share them with other people, we'll have to see. And when I get this stuff done, then I want to start planning out my October and November and December. So basically the rest of the year to make sure that all my goals are met. So I'm still trying to follow my Preptober goals as well as I can, but you know, if it goes to the point where I don't, I need a plan. Right there, it's moral support. So I decided to move down to the coffee table and I finished the project list. As you can tell, there is quite a lot and this isn't even like the full list. I made like a quick full list just so I know all the projects and to make sure I didn't miss anything because this is like supposed to be the neater version. But even on this list where I condensed it into like trilogies in brackets how many books they are, it's a lot. Most of the books I have to write in the next few years are series is and part of a collection of books meaning i stay in the same world for quite a while so at least there's that my nano project is also on this list because i actually remembered it this time so i work really well with colors so i think for like figuring out which books should be self-published just printing and querying i'm going to use my market i'm just going to pick them randomly It is done. Now I need to think about deadlines and dates and all that hard things. Meaning I have to start making deadlines for final drafts. And that is going to be very difficult because I have never gotten past a second draft. So I can, I can easily tell you how long it takes me to do a first draft because I've done quite a bit of those. But not a second draft or a third draft, or a final draft. I don't even know how many drafts it'll take, but um, we will do our best. It's called a dream release date for a reason, because they're dreams. But anyway, gonna get to that. I'm actually gonna do this off camera because I feel like all I'll do is just stress and write things down. So I'm probably just gonna do this off camera, but I will come back with you guys when I do something a little bit more interesting, because right now I feel like this is very tedious so yeah i will see you all in a little bit so as you can tell it's been quite a little bit of a break in between these days and uh there's really no explanation for it i did try to make this like a weekly writing vlog which is why i continued it on to you know another day 
but apparently I can't do that. So this is just going to be like a preptober prep vlog. Not really a weekly writing vlog. Hopefully next week I can make it into a weekly writing vlog, but obviously for now that didn't really happen. But what did happen is I finally managed to sit down at my computer again and get onto outlining. So when I last checked in with you guys, I talked about doing estimates and you know that was already done in the clip all good i know like rough things about the book now however what i didn't do is actually outline the book you might have also seen how i recently got like preptober workbook that i decided to work on and i filled in a couple pages there are still things i need to fill in things like very specific things that i don't know about just yet but I am going to start working on the outline. So the plan I have, which I might like someday talk about this outlining method that I have right now is to look at the book as a whole, then start going into detail slowly. So first going into a little bit of detail, then going into more detail and then detail. I'm probably just going to quickly outline the act and then go to characters because if I know what happens in each act, then I know what characters are involved. So I might find it a little bit more easier to you know plan out my characters if I know what characters are going to be in the book and because thankfully this is a standalone I don't have to worry about the future books because you know there's just one also today it's my grandmother's birthday so we will be going to her house to celebrate so I won't be able to spend too much time today outlining and working on this book but I'm hoping to get as much as I can done. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to move on to doing this act overview now and finally start getting into the nitty gritty parts of this book. This is officially the end of this like vlog preptober thing. I definitely did think I was gonna do more in this video, but since I didn't, I'm definitely gonna try to do more next week. Let me know what you guys did for Preptober, if you've done anything yet, if you're doing anything for NaNoWriMo, let me know what you're doing. Thank you very much for watching this kind of short Preptober prep video, but anyway, like I said, hopefully next week will be better. And that's it from me for now. Bye!